Okay, but on the table here in front of me, I have everything that I got recently on my trip with Sue to the antique mall. We went to Black Rose Antiques in Hanover. There are multiple locations, so I just have to, in my mind, figure yeah, out which one were we were. at. Because normally we're going to the one in Chambersburg, so. But this one was the Hanover store. Um, we've only been there a few times before. We had brought Jeffrey from Real Nifty Vintage over there. Yep. Um, so you've been there before. So we're going to go through the stuff that I got with Sue. And the reason Andrew's here is because then... We're going to talk about four banana boxes full of linens. Yes. We're not pulling them all out. I'm no. not sitting here pulling them. There's a, there's a lot of white in the boxes, um, but it's mostly antique and vintage lace doilies table pillow covers cases. there's pillow there's a ton of stuff there's a ton of color in here too yes there's a lot of hand stitch stuff there's a lot of souvenir type stuff yeah. there's some really great um materials here so yes we'll, we'll pull some of it out not all of it yeah and now this is kind of like not really in our wheelhouse this came as a result of a lot of yeah. you commenting on our video when we went to the private sale um dave had a bunch of linens out and you were voicing in the comments like don't leave the linens please grab some linens by then of course it was a few days later but we contacted dave and we were like hey if you have any linens left we might be interested so sure enough when andrew saw him at the flea market he had four boxes for us so we're gonna go through it um i i'm see this is this is why i can't stress enough building good relationships with people that you work with. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Because I was able to make a phone call, shoot a text message, make a phone, whatever, and say, hey, do you have any of that stuff left? Can I buy absolutely, some of that? Yeah. yeah, sure, no problem. I get there, and he's got four boxes for me. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. I love great. that. And um, he, he even picked out some of the better pieces from what he had remaining, so. Yeah. I'm pretty excited to go through it. Um, I, I mean, like I said, it's not my wheelhouse. I'm... Yeah, and you guys that was, know, I'm always like, I don't know if this is handmade or not. I don't know what the, the stitch is called. And, and so it's going to be a learning experience <laughs> as we list this stuff. <laughs> so maybe you guys can chime in on the comments if you know what this stuff is. So that yeah. we can kind of go from there. But anyway, enough about that. Let's talk about the stuff that I got with Sue. Yes. Um, you have a bowl there. Yeah, this is really pretty. I like this. So I've actually seen that before and I believe I usually pass on it and I don't know. I just because I I believe it's modern. I think the glass company that makes it is still in operation. Um, and somebody in the comments had mentioned that they're actually in Cape Cod. But the company that makes it is Sidon Stricker. I believe it's S-Y-D-E-N Stricker. And the glass is beautiful. Oh, it's it, it amazing. has this like lacy uh, pattern. Yeah. Uh, and the glass has this crudeness to it mm -hmm. that just just gives it this art art glass, yeah. hand blown. It's it's a beautiful piece. I really I, like yeah. it. Yeah. I thought, oh my gosh, that looks like a snowflake. It does. It looks like a giant snowflake. Yes, right. And I don't feel any damage or anything no. like that on the edges. I can't fun sponge this. Thank you for trying. I'm I. We'll always try to fun sponge. Of course you will. <laughs> I know I can count on you for that. <laughs> so um, this piece right here, I would expect to get 20 to $25 for that. Um, and as I mentioned, I do believe that this glass company is still in operation. Um, so I'm sure they have a website, but I didn't actually look. But uh, it's a really nice piece. And I, when I was doing research, I did find that they, they actually do a lot of different colors. So there's like pinks and greens, and sometimes they'll, they'll fuse the colors and have different colors fading and stuff. They, I love it. It's beautiful yeah, stuff. That's cool. Um, so let's talk about this. That's pretty. I like the shape of that. So you guys know that I usually have a hard time parting with <laughs> carnival glass. But the marigold I find is a little bit easier to part with <laughs> than the cobalt and the amethyst and all of that. Um, this piece right here, the pattern would be considered blackberry spray, I do believe. And it's made by Fenton. It is a top hat uh, vase. That's what it means. Like It looks like a top hat. That's how you can determine the shape of it. Um, but it's a nice piece. It's an older piece. It's got some heavy iridescence, but um, it's nice. 
like for it. this piece, I would expect probably to get around 25 to 30 for this. I like the bubbles in the glass. Yes, I it like shows when that it's got some age. The earlier glass will have nice bubbles in it. Yes. Um, and then we've got this. I like that. That's really pretty. I, it's multifunction. Yeah, Andrew was pointing out that there are actually holes up here, so mm -hmm. you could hang it. Yep, you just there. I you did just not get notice the, that. It's like a, it's like a heavy, like waxy type string. Yeah. And they feed it through. They knot the end, and you can hang it, or it could have been used as an ashtray. Yeah, absolutely, because it has the little notches there where you can use it as an ashtray. So it's not I mean, transfer. It's, no, it's hand painted. It's hand, yeah. It's probably Japan, even though it's not marked. Um, for this piece, I would expect probably to get, I want to say 12 to 18, somewhere in that range. So they did a really nice job on that. Yeah, I agree. A lot of the ones I was finding on eBay were sold as sets, so I don't know if originally there was maybe two of them. And I only found one, unfortunately. Right. Uh, now this guy right here, I'm going to cover your face so it focuses. Face coverage. Maybe, maybe I should do it this way. Um, so this guy, <laughs> if you guys remember a few videos ago, Andrew and I were at another antique mall and we came across a yellow cardinal. And I made a joke like, ha ha, cardinals are supposed to be red. And everyone's like, no, a yellow cardinal was just spotted. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I bet you there's no green cardinals. They're gonna be like, yeah, look at this article. There's a green cardinal. I'm like, oh man. Um, but anyway, so I do believe this is Fenton, although in researching this, and actually Casey helped with some of the research, um, Westmoreland also made glass cardinals. So we were able to find a Westmoreland glass cardinal with the original sticker and a Fenton glass cardinal with the original sticker, both in the exact same style. So, um, the, a lot of the Westmoreland ones were satin glass, and since this one's clear, I do believe that this one is Fenton. Yeah. But it would have had a sticker, so it's not marked. But, um, it's a nice... I like that it's green, and it's yeah. not, it's not something like red. Yes. Like a cardinal's red. It's an oddball color for a cardinal. Yes. That's yes. cool. So for that piece, I would expect to get 25 to 30 for that. I wish it was just hand painted. Let's get this creepy it. thing off the table. Oh my god. This thing weirds me out. It's so funny. In the video, I it. was like, oh, Andrew's going to love this. You guys know he loves clowns. We got this guy. Look at him. I would say he's staring into your soul, but he's actually looking that this direction. He already ate your soul. <laughs> you have no soul left once you touch that. Oh my that. gosh. Oh. He is also an asteroid. He is marked Japan. He's hand painted. No, uh, he, is, he is pretty cool. He is pretty cool. He's creepy cool. He is. He's creepy cool. And I was finding other examples very similar and actually sets that had um, the playing card symbols on them. Mm, okay. So I think that it was just, you know, this one doesn't have a symbol on it, but um, I was finding a lot with like the cl a club and hearts and that sort of thing. So um, for that piece, I would expect probably to get 15 to 20 bucks why is it saying red rum is it red rum red rum <laughs> okay. he is kind of cool I do I do cool. like him uh, so let's look at these I actually didn't even realize that I got two of the exact same dudes did you notice that from two different booths oh yeah well, I mean, they're barbershop quartet. Yeah, I didn't know mm -hmm. who that was. Barbershop quartet? Yeah, it, what is that? A barbershop quartet? Oh, geez, that's like, you could be, There's they're all over the country. Oh, so it's an actual thing. Oh, it's a thing, yeah. It's not a one particular group. Oh, no. okay. No, 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 no. Because this one says Sweet Adeline on the back. Yeah, no, so a barbershop quartet is four guys, they get together, they harmonize. Okay. They they don't they don't use instruments gen generally. It's all uh, it's all voice and harmony. Okay. So. All right. So I actually got two of those, and I just thought that their mustaches were killer. So I decided, why not? It's not something that's like uber popular nowadays. Yeah. No. That's what it I was, found when I looked was, up the prices. 
It was it was a very it was a very popular thing back in the forties, thirties. No, which was probably about the time these were made. Um, so this guy right here sells for about ten to fifteen dollars. And this one right here sells for about eight to twelve. And I believe that's about a little smidge over what I paid for them. So I'm gonna make my money back hopefully after fees. Um, but as I mentioned in the video, I had no way of looking anything up, so I was going completely blind. And sometimes it's fun to do that, just to challenge yourself. Um, yeah, and, and, and it's hard for me to look stuff up if she can't send me a picture. And yeah. all she can do is go, hey, can you look up blah, 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 blah. And I'm like... Because I can text. I can't send pictures. Yeah. When I have like no signal, I can't send a picture. So I'm like trying to explain, can you look up? Uh, and that was the case of the, the bunny with the snail. Because mm -hmm. I, I didn't call in a favor on that one. I'm like, hey, <laughs> hey, babe, can you look this one up? And that's easy for me because it's something I've had. Yeah, and before. it's something we've, we've done before. Yeah. So um, another thing we got were these guys. And they're pretty cute. I think the thing that got me with these guys is the smile. I mean, the smiles <laughs> are everything. Am I right? Look at that. Yeah. They are just they have like lips. yes. They have lips. They're everything. You're getting lippy with you. <laughs> now they are from <coughs> Japan. One has a cork and one doesn't. And unfortunately, one has a chip Japan. on his ear. Um, I did only pay five dollars for these, and I would expect to get about twelve for them with the damage. If they weren't damaged, I would probably expect to get 20 to 25 for them. But I liked those guys. I thought they were great. Yeah, they're cool. Oh, we got this here. Now, after Andrew got all of those carved wooden figurines um, a while back, I decided to embrace the carved wooden figurines. And I think that while I was listing those, I actually came across this guy. So I recognized him. And I was like, you know, I you feel know, I, I feel like he looks familiar too. Yeah. I, I feel like when I was doing a little bit of uh, research and looking at some of the, you were sending me screenshots of the Worth Point, and I think he was one of the search results that uh, had popped up. Okay. And and I because he does look very familiar. Yeah, fuzz on my shoulder. Here's a fuzz for you. Um. So. <laughs> um. So I think this isn't marked. Uh, but I believe this is made by Anri, A-N-R-I, which is Italian, I do believe. Okay. Um, but I have him just listed as a carved wooden figurine with a twig. Because somebody, <laughs> originally he would have had a staff, but somebody replaced his staff with a twig yeah. when it was lost or whatever. Um, uh, so he's neat. I, I really liked, liked him. I mean, he is hand carved. He's pretty impressive. The pig looks so sad. I know. The pig knows what's what's about to happen. Bacon. The pig's like, he's taking me to the market. Bacon. That's really sad, though. I, I would save him if he was real. <laughs> I'd be like, I'll buy your pig, and then we would have a house pig. Bacon. No. House pig. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. Let's talk about this little guy. Um, so I grabbed this figurine. I, I'm going to have to agree with what you're going to say about this piece. Yeah. I think so. Um, so I saw him sh sitting on the shelf and he's actually got a little bit of weight to him. You know, he's not real, you, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, for a small figurine, oh that's super, oh yeah, that's super um, heavy. And that's for one a of small. the things that I go by when I buy stuff oh, is man. like, how much does it weigh? Or how much did does they it put weigh? A, did they use a lot of material in it? Because yes, the, exactly. The whiter it is, the less material they used, the cheaper it was to make for exactly. them. This has got more material, it's heavier. It actually f looks like quality porcelain. It does. And when I saw it, I thought, you know what? That is Tramp from Lady and the Tramp. And it would have had a sticker. It would have had a sticker. It would have had a Walt Disney Productions sticker on it, yes. most likely. And I am almost positive that's who it is. So I have to do a little bit more research on that. I have come across um, Tramp figurines in the past. So that's why it was that's like, cool. I think I know what that is. Um, it would be really great if we had Lady to go with it, but we do not. It'd be cool if his eyes were still painted on. I know. It's kind of a bummer that he's missing his eyes. It's just like a creepy fact. We could... That means he was well-loved. We loved. could paint eyeballs on him. I could. 
That would be weird. Let's not. Um, so for him, I would expect probably to get twelve to fifteen dollars for it. I could glue some of those googly eyes on. Oh, him. googly eyes! I love googly eyes. All right, we got this. Now this was probably one of my boo boos. Um, in addition to the barbershop quartz head mugs. Um, the reason I'm calling it a boo-boo is because I paid about what it's worth. So they had this for $28. It is a hull um, kitten and cat planter. And it sells, well, I shouldn't say that though. Some have sold, I should say this, some have sold for about 25 to 30. However, other examples have sold for 40, 50, 60. But I usually try to look at the lower end mm -hmm. of what things sell for. And if this was to sell on the lower end of what things sell for, I couldn't make money. You or or I'm, I'm gonna break even, maybe. I'll probably lose money when I pay my fees. Um, but when I, when I am looking at stuff and I'm looking at what stuff sells for, I'm always looking at the bottom end. At the bottom, you know, this yeah. is the bottom price that yeah. it sells for and this is what I could probably get for it. So. And if it goes up and above and beyond that, that's then that's great. great. But when I'm making a purchase decision to buy something for resale, yeah. if I see that the least it will sell for is $25 and they want 28 bucks for it, I'm gonna walk away. Yeah. And I didn't have my phone to look it up. So we ended up with this. Hopefully, it, you know, it'll go up to 40 like some of them have, but um, I, I really like cats. So <laughs> that's an understatement maybe. A little bit. A little bit. A <laughs> little bit. So I, I just like that piece. Do you like um, dogs too? I do. Naughty ones? Would you like to share what I, I bought for you? <laughs> He's like rubber too. He's like yeah, real he weird I can, rubber. I can, I can adjust the leg to get the, <laughs> get the, the stream, the right, angle. the right angle and stream. <laughs> oh gosh. I can't with you. <laughs> Make sure we can fill the glass properly. Oh, stop! <laughs> so I got this for Andrew because he collects naughty dog figurines, like dogs that are peeing or, or using the fire hydrant. Using the fire hydrant. I have I have a pair up there. I think they're salt and pepper. And yes. One is the fire hydrant. Yes. Yeah. And um, it it all stems back to my my YouTube channel and your, and my oh, it won't go anywhere. It's okay. got the tail oh, okay. holding it all in. Right, all right. Um, but my YouTube channel and uh, that little fireworks toy that I dug a couple years ago. So yep. So I just started picking up naughty dog creatures. Yeah, as we find them. Doesn't matter if they're dogs. Anything that's naughty. Peeing. <laughs> so, um, all right, we've got a few more things. These were actually not a part of this. Um, we got this. I like that one. I do too. It's made in Germany. Germany? Um, yes. It has a mark on it, and I can't remember who makes it. Plus, it's a, it's a German name, so I don't think that I would even be able to pronounce it I if I it. tried. Uh, but that mark right there is about mid-century, so even though the piece looks older, I mean, it looks turn of the century, but the mark, when I looked it up, is actually mid-century. So. Interesting. I know, right? Because when I looked at that, I'm like, that looks turn of the century to me. So, or like early 1900s. So one of the things on this is it says made in Germany. Yeah. And that was around the 1920s when they had to start putting made in. Mm -hmm. So it would be, yeah, post 1920s. But yeah, when I picked it up, I was like, oh, this looks turn of the century. Yeah. I like it though. I really like the flowers on it. I do too. And I like the colors in these leaves. I, yes. think, I think those colors, the way they did those colors, they mixed those perfectly. They're just, I really like yeah. those. That's a nice piece. I think it's a creamer or maybe like a little milk jug. I'm not sure. It's a little big for a creamer, so maybe it's for milk. Um, a few more pieces I grabbed was this. I like this. Um, I figured it was American made pottery, which it is. Uh, I posted it in a vintage American pottery identification group because as much as I love pottery, um, I'm, I'm still learning a lot of it. Oh, wow. um, There's so it's, much out and, there. And when it's unmarked, it's just, it's really hard because a lot of the companies emulated one another you know, with their glazes and stuff. Uh, for example, recently we had that Brush McCoy Burley Winter um, thing. You, you remember that little 
squatty looking vase. Yes. That was it. Yeah. Yes. So I mean, they like made almost identical pieces. And so for me, I'm like, I look at this and I'm like, I just really like it. So I was able to identify it as Brush McCoy. Thank you to that group. Um, yeah. But I just, I thought it was nice. It's simple, but also I, I really like the shape of it, and I like the like the little handles. Yeah, are because the decorative. handles have incised flowers on them. Yeah. So even though it's simple, it has this this little detailing on on the handles that just makes it nice. So I thought that was a good piece. Um, that piece right there. I like that. I mean, I would expect like twenty bucks for that, twenty twenty five. Um, I forgot to say how much for this. Probably about fifteen to twenty. And last but not least. That's cool. Are you hoarding? No, actually, it's already listed. Okay. All um, right. <laughs> it's not a cutesy owl. It's like a more serious owl, and I think that's why I wasn't as tempted to hold on to it. Is it an angry owl? It is an angry owl. He's angry because he's on a humidor, and smoking is bad. Shh. Hey, buddy. <laughs> um, so this little humidor... Um, is made by Bruxonia, which is Austria. And I had a really hard time finding another one like it. Um, and not only that, but just the company in general, it was hard to find a lot of information on Bruxonia, Austria. Like, it was like I was really surprised that there wasn't more information out there. Uh, but I just, I really like that. And it doesn't have to be a humidor. I think it could be like a little small cookie jar. Biscuit or, jar, uh, yeah, treat jar for your cat anything. or dog or something. It's ceramic. So, I mean. This is cool. I like that. I liked it too. And um, I think it's a close tie for my favorites between the owl jar and the cat. But... Or if you've got grandkids, you can always do what my grand my great grandmother used to keep those little strawberry candies in her room. Yeah. And I remember she was around till I was about five. She died in 1985. I was almost five. And she always kept those up in her room in my grandmother's house in a little little container on her dresser. It was a little crystal jar. And it was just something I always remembered as a kid. So I mean, you could always do something like that with it too. And then the kids will always remember the owl jar. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I like absolutely. that. Absolutely. <laughs> So anyway, that was everything that I got while I was out with Sue. Um, I think we did pretty well. It was kind of, it's it's always a little bit challenging when we go to the antique mall. Um, a lot of the prices are on point and they, they know what they have and it's retail prices. You know, um, we've got a train coming. Um, perfect timing since we- Perfect timing. Um, we're gonna pause the video and then we're gonna transition over to linens. So. Be back in a few. We'll be back in a second. Let's talk about linens. Let's talk about it's focusing on my hoodie. Oh. Look at that. I can see the little square right on my logo. And every time I move it, the little square moves. Oh I can just do goodness. like a little square dance here on the screen that nobody can see but me and they think I'm like a weirdo. Well, they know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So let's talk about some linens. Yes, Four please. banana boxes full. We're not pulling every linen out. I will pull out some stuff in piles. We can kind of flip through it. I will show this. This is cool. This has got a battleship on it. This pillow cover from the Souvenir of Panama, Panama Canal. Canal. Yeah. That's very, what is that, silk? Yeah, I believe that's what those that are made out of. It feels like silk. I'm pretty sure that's what those are made that's out of. soft. Yeah, they are. I, like I love them with the little danglies on them. The danglies? The danglies. <laughs> Dinglers and danglies. The danglers, yes. <laughs> we have our own vocabulary first off. Of course. I mean, feel free to correct us. <laughs> That's okay. I'm still going to say... <laughs> I'm still going to say danglies, <laughs> danglies, dinglers, sprinkled cheese. No, they're, like almost everyone agreed with you on the sprinkled cheese thing. Spaghetti glitter. That was the best. Spaghetti glitter. I, it's I, now I, spaghetti glitter. I in seriously our house. lost it when somebody <laughs> called it spaghetti glitter. That was awesome. Oh, great. There is some really nice. I don't, know, I don't even know what this one would be. It's like it's like cushioned. It's got a ribbon. See, I, I mean, like half of this stuff, I, I don't even know. It's just it's soft and it's pretty. <laughs> I mean, here's a really nice, nice... embroidery. This is probably a table runner. Oh, look at this bar towel, this vintage towel. Look at this. Wait, I'm showing this one. Oh, this is cool. I think 
think this would be a table runner, right? This is really nice. This oh my is gosh, for like are you looking forward to, to ironing these? Kitchen, uh, no. I don't know how to iron. You gonna learn. <laughs> Where's your bar towel? I mean, it's more kitchen, whatever, yeah, but yeah, yeah. but it's it's, like that. it's little... got that pastelly look to it, yeah. like. Let's see what you've got here. You're just pulling stuff I'm just out. I'm gonna pull just... a pile out and just kind of flip through a little bit and see what we've got here. I'm gonna poke through it like. Oh, that. this one! Look at this. Oh, that's really pretty. Is that a tablecloth? It's a it's some sort of like runner because it's got it's long. Ooh. I don't think it's a tablecloth. It's it, it would probably maybe go down the center of a table. Yeah. So I think a lot of oops. I'm not even showing you guys the right side. Wait. Yeah, you were. Was I? Yeah. This is all the stitching. Oh. And that's the design. Oh yeah, it is. The other one's more colorful. <laughs> um, as far as selling these, I don't think we're going to clean them. Yeah, like this one here, I won't even mess with this because somebody started doing the lace around the edge yeah, of this. and then pins it in place. And it's all straight pinned in. So it's in. not even complete. It needs to be sewed. Yeah. Um, as far as this goes, I mean, I would be nervous that the colors would bleed or I'd mess something up. Uh, so I think we're probably gonna sell these as is and just let people who yeah. know what they're doing do their thing. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And they'll probably be in lots. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's not Oh, thinking. wow, this is a pattern. Yeah, so uh, this one you handed me, um, the reason that the other side wasn't as nice is because I don't think this one was finished. It's a good possibility. I realize that. You know what? Yeah, because this isn't finished around here yeah, either. Yeah, so this one actually, there's some unfinished pieces in here. That's cool though. It is cool. And we've, little... we've actually sold unfinished pieces in the past. So, oh, these are nice. Oh, those are starched. You can feel the starch on those. I think those would be napkins, right? Ooh, these are nice. This, it's one one of those big long things. Yeah. A lot of color to it. That is pretty. That's like a cross stitch, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure when it's crisscross like that, it's a cross stitch. Yeah, that's really nice. Oh, that's cute. Oh yeah. There's a lot of the smaller stuff in these boxes too. I almost too. wonder if this is for an arm of a chair, maybe. Well. There is. Yeah, so I know they used to put these over chairs. Like they would hang this over the top for your head. I think these are for the arms. Yeah. And I think this would have gone across the top of the chair because these are a little bit bigger for the arms of the chair with the birds on them. And then this that would have probably laid right where your neck would have left its oils and sweat. Hmm. Yeah. I think that's what they're for. Chairs. That makes that makes sense. It makes sense. I, I I would tend to. You would agree with me. I would tend to agree. Watch me drink this red wine over these oh, nice white. Giant lines. piece of silk. Mm, it's a scarf. So soft. It's a scarf. It's so soft. I'm just gonna like pet it in front of the camera because you guys can't experience how soft this is. Some lacy stuff. And you know though, there's like there's the no D. smell to it. Mm -mm. I mean, like it smells a little bit like grandma's attic, but it's not like it's not overpowering. Like it's, it's been in like a musty, bad nasty smell. place. No, I think that again is one of those like chair protectors. Maybe focus. Thank you. There is just so oh much. These are <laughs> beautiful. There's a couple of these. There's a pair of these. Yeah. Probably most likely. Ooh, what is that? Is that a bug? Oh, no, that's, no, it's the stitching. Never mind. <gasps> As I'm reaching for it, what is that? It's a bug. Oh my gosh. 
There's some seriously great material in here. This is just the first box, right? I know. <gasps> I know. Look, oh, this one's, is that, is that Bo Peep? Is there a sheep on it? I don't see a sheep. Then probably not. She doesn't go very far without that thing. Little Miss Muffet sitting on her tuffet. Maybe. But I don't see any curds I'm in the way. I was going to say, and where's the spider? <laughs> uh... Wow. This is like never ending. There's handkerchiefs. Really nice. Mm. Hand on. I like those. Oh, those are cool. So, there's still about half of that box I haven't even pulled out. That's just... Oh my goodness. Ooh, butterfly. It's a pretty towel. Ooh, there's two that... different colors. Butterfly? Flip it over. Yeah. Oh, and there's something else on it. Oh, it's got a monogram on it. What in the world? Don't be alarmed and don't be misled. These, These aren't, aren't for you, you but, but your kitchen, kitchen instead. So untie the ties and take off the ribbons. You'll gain three dishcloths, but you'll lose your brat britches. I had to say that slowly. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's three kitchen dish towels. And when you untie it, they come apart. And it has a little poem. Yeah, that's cool. Pinterest. I know, right? That's like Pinterest all day. Is this blue? You'll lose your bra and britches. Oh, <laughs> that's what it is. Bra and britches. Okay. I thought it said brat britches. <laughs> I just need to make sure I read that slowly so I didn't let something else slip out. <laughs> oh, look, little lace mittens. That's like a cheesecloth. All right, so let's go into another box. Okay. Let's pile these right back on top of this one. Try not to wrinkle them too much. It's not like they're getting ironed. <laughs> Ooh, it's coming down out there. We're getting some snow. No. Make sure the kids aren't getting dismissed early. I'm just going to give you some piles here. Okay. okay. Lots of doilies. Flip through some of this. This is really nice. I love doilies. I love lace. Handkerchiefs or napkins? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Probably hankies. They're small. They're folded small. If they were long, they... I like they'd... that they're embroidered with white. Yeah. White on white. Mm -hmm. With the lace edges. There's more over here. Oh, what are these? This is cool. These colorful... Check this guy out. Ooh, that's, oh, that's really That's so pretty. cool. Imagine finding an afghan made of those. I know, right? It wouldn't be very warm, though. No. <laughs> Flowers. Look at this. The basket. Probably for a table runner. Much more Ooh, silk. Yeah. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff in here. That's so, nice. I mean, really, we could sit here and do this all day. We could. You're gonna see the majority of it is very similar. Yes, it's it's, it's a lot it's of lace. A lot. It's 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 very repetitive. There's some larger Four boxes pieces here. Just just I mean, really, I mean, it's there's a lot. Four boxes of linens. I don't know what we were thinking. I feel like we should just like bunch a lot of it together and mm -hmm. just sell it. And if we sell it in lots, I feel like... I mean, this whole thing is just... This this entire box is lace, doilies. 
Yeah. All lace doilies. Maybe we could just sell it in We've got a ton for ten, you. Ten at a time? Something like that. Like just do like mixed lots of I stuff. I think so, yeah. I know a lot of you know it better than we do. And if we just take detailed pictures of like lots of ten, we can sell. Mix lots of textiles. Have fun. Enjoy. Yes. The lot you see is the lot you're buying. Yes. I like that idea. I do that with um like foreign coins. If I have groupings of stuff, mm -hmm. it's like I'll just say, okay, this is all from Indonesia. And the lot you actually see in the photographs is the lot that you're getting. So please look at the pictures carefully. I think we could do that with linens. We're just going to have to figure out how to keep <laughs> the lots separated. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, but yeah, that's this is a lot. I'm yeah. I'm I'm happy. There's I'm, still two boxes we didn't even really break into for this video, but yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys are happy that we got some linens finally, because I know that you've been voicing that in the comments, and so we uh, we finally delivered on that one. <laughs> and you know what? Again, that's thanks to having a really good working relationship with a really good person. Yeah. And um. I want to. I want to do that with more people. Absolutely. So. All right. Well, we're going to end this video, and we will see you guys later. Bye. Bye. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. <laughs>